Hello folks, welcome back. So in this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and set up our computer to run our Java programs. To do that, we need to install Java on your machine. And the latest Java that we have is Java 8. So different versions comes of Java every year and so. So we're going to go ahead and install the latest Java version. So you can go ahead and say Java 8 download and just hit OK. And now you can go ahead and find this oracle.com link. So just go ahead and install that. So once you click on it, it's going to go ahead and take you to the page. So once you do that, this is the page that it's going to go ahead and pop up. So here you're going to see SC Development Kit and 8065 and all those. So they're different, different uh, versions out there. So we need to accept our the license agreement. Click on that radio button. And if you scroll down to the page, your computer is going to be most probably it's going to be 64 bit. So you're going to go ahead and click on this one, but just make, but just double check. So if you're, if you're working on Mac, you can download this one. If you're working on via Windows, you can download this one. So my computer is a Windows 8 64 bit. So I'm going to go ahead and download this one. So here you're going to go ahead and download this version. So it's going to start the download in a couple minutes. And this is how you're going to see on the top, on the bottom left hand side, the Java is going to getting installed. So I'm just going to, it might take a couple minutes, so I'm just going to pause my video and I'm going to restart again. So, so now we have downloaded Java, so now it has been downloaded. Let's click on that link and once you click on the link, a page should pop up. So it's getting executed. So this is the 8 Java 8 uh, update 65. So we're going to go ahead and click on next. So right now it's not enabled. So just wait for a couple seconds. So you click on next here. Next. So it's going to go ahead and install Java for you. So let's just give a couple more minutes here to install it. So once you have installed the JDK, it asks you to install the JRE also. So go ahead and click next on it and it will keep installing the JRE for you. So it's going to go ahead and you can see that 3 billion devices run on Java every day. So this is how popular the Java is. So now basically the JVM consists of JDK as well as JRE, Java Development Kit and Java Runtime Environment. So when you run the program or execute the program, you need the JRE and for the building of your program, you need the JDK. So you don't have to dig into too much detail about it. So you, you're right now installing everything, all that you need to run your Java programs. So let's just wait for it to go ahead and set up. Okay, so once you have installed the JRE, it will ask you to install those API documentation and all that. You don't need to do that, so we'll just go ahead and close. So now we have installed Java. To check it, you can always go ahead and go to the control panel here. So you can type in control panel and you can search for your uh, program. So this is my control panel. Let me go back one more time. So programs. Now if you see Java here, it means you are able to install Java or you can even search in these programs and uh, these are the list of the programs that I have. And so if I go ahead and look for Java, it should give me a Java has been installed. So and also give you the version of the Java. So on the top you see the development kit as well as the update. So I have Java installed on my machine. So now what I need to do is I need to go ahead and set my environment variable because I need to make sure that when my uh, class path knows about Java. So to do that, let me just first of all figure out where the Java has installed. So usually it will be under program files. It will be a folder called Java. And this is the place where you have your Java installed. So go ahead and get the link for this Java bin directory. So we will need it. So just go ahead and copy this link. And we're going to go ahead and set up an environment variable. So you'll go to the properties and the property, go click on advanced system settings 
in the advanced system setting click on environment variables now here I will go ahead and create a new variable here and that will basically called as the Java home Java underscore home and then here I can go ahead and give the path here so this has been created now I need to go ahead and edit the path variable so this is my path at the end of this I can put a semicolon and I can say Java underscore home with these percentage signs and click OK. So now I have provided the my Java. Now my Java has been set. So if you wanted to go ahead and see if Java is installed, if you go to your command prompt and you type in cd backslash and you say Java dash version and if it gives you some output so it means that he knows about that the Java has been installed so it gave me 1.8.65 so that means that I have Java running on my machine so now the next tutorial we're going to go ahead and install Eclipse so I'll see you in the next tutorial if you find any difficulties in downloading Java please go ahead and message me I'll try to answer your queries within a day so thank you so much